Chrome is a very peculiar type of browser. It's like it's its own little system wrapped inside of its own little browser wrapped inside of its own structure that's kind of like an operating system, even when they do have Chrome OS. But today we're going to look more at the inner workings under the hood of Chrome web browser for Microsoft Windows and even Mac OS. And we're going to look at Chrome's flags. My name is Uno coming from SSN. Today you're going to be watching Sudo Up the Chrome Zone. So first, let's actually get started in terms of the idea of what a flag is in terms of the Chrome browser slash Chrome OS. Flags are generally the items used for experimental or obsolete or outdated aspects that Chrome either does not fully support at the moment or find obsolete and want to disable it. One being the NPAPI, as I like to call it, the NPA, the NPAPI, which is usually used for the Unity web browser for video games. And if you're wondering, yes, we show you how to enable the Unity web player for Chrome OS currently that you can find here. You can, if you're a mobile device, you can put a little I and then it'll drop down and just click that. And yeah, you can actually go in to modify the Chrome's flags to either enable or disable some old things that may increase performance or may break a few things. That's why it's always a big warning label when you enter the flags page and it says be careful enabling or disabling some things may cause things to break. So we're actually going to go hop into our main system back over here and show you how to get to your flags and actually mess around with them. So star wipe. I said star wipe. So as we move on over to our actual Chrome browser, this is my personal Chrome account, my Chrome profile. You can probably see in the top right corner is an Okami. And it's important to the state that uh, anything that you change in terms of your Chrome flags will be expanded upon across all users. This is, it's more of the default um, workings of the Chrome browser, not just by profile based. So if you again, if you want to have a separate version for your unstable and your stable, you want to download Chrome Canary. So if you're, interested, if you're interested in a canary, then you can go to google.com slash chrome slash browser slash canary. We'll have a shorthanded link in the description below. Uh, and you can just use that to go here. And as you can see, get on the bleeding edge of the web. Uh, I'll leave that to you to read and download at your own device, you know, your own time. We will do a video about chrome canary at a later date but let's jump right into what we're getting at beforehand. In order to get to the flags of your Chrome browser, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is do Chrome uh, colon slash slash flags. Oh, not fogs, flags, same way. When you, get, when you reach this page, it'll say, careful, these experiments may bite. And you have your nice little warning sign that you know basically tells you these things can actually break the Chrome browser and your experience of browsing the web. And that's why, you know, you have different things like here, like uh, enable Win32K 30, uh, 32 render lockdown. You can enable, disable, have it set, but the default, default is basically whatever the current Chrome version has it set to, because those may vary depending on your version of Chrome's. You have other areas like here that says experimental canvas features uh, for Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, and Android. And this is basically enables the use of experimental canvas features, which are still in development if you do want to test out those features. But again, it's not stable and etc. So pretty much all you have to do is if you want to change something, you can enable it and then it'll tell you to relaunch. So just for an example, I'm going to uh, enable save pages as mhtml okay and i'm going to disable it again just because if you see here your changes will take effect the next time you relaunch google chrome do you want to relaunch now and you click that and it basically relaunches if you want to and the, set, the settings will apply you'll start it off it'll probably take a few extra seconds than you're probably used to because it's applying those changes and then it'll come right back up and you can start testing out whatever flag you just enabled or disabled for whatever various reasons. And that pretty much wraps up the video explaining Chrome flags or at least getting you introduced to them. If you have any particular questions about a particular flag, please be sure to ask in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, disliked it, if you disliked it. If you disliked it, please let us know why so we can better yet improve on these videos in the future. My name is Benzino Kami from Essence of Zen. You have been watching Sudo Up the Chrome Zone 
So subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next video. But until then, as always, take care. Watching.